Hi everyone, this is Eric from Traders Helping Traders with this week's Tricks of the Trade. This week I want to reintroduce you to a tool that we use in our trading manual but that I really haven't mentioned for a while and that is trend lines. Trend lines can be a very helpful tool to help you in identifying price action. As a rule, I usually like to see the market reacting close to a trend line or off of a trend line. That makes our trades that much more predictable. Now, I tend to draw my trend lines a little bit differently than most people. You can draw trend lines in the traditional way where you start at from the left side of the chart and you move to the right. However, I find drawing a trend line backwards to be a little bit more effective because it will take into consideration more of the current price action. So, for instance, here we have uh, the market we would have a trend line similar to this for the more recent price action and as we go further back we would have a trend line that looks something like this and then as we go further back still taking into consideration this area back here and just pretend I drew this one backwards we would have a trend line that looks something like that as well. Now you might be asking yourself which of these trend lines is the real trend line. Well, they are all real trend lines. They will all affect the market to some degree or another. What a trend line shows us, it shows us where the trend traders are paying attention to the market. And that's why we tend to get reactions off of trend lines and moving average lines. Moving average lines in most cases are nothing more than computer generated trend lines because you'll see that many times they will mirror what you will see happening on a trend line, especially with a longer term moving average. All right, so how do we trade the moving average lines? Well, let's back this chart up a few days and I will show you what we could have done had I been paying closer attention to the September Australian dollar. When the market was like this, we already had enough information to draw a short-term trend line. What you need to draw a short-term trend line is you essentially need the market to make a swing. You need for it to bottom out or to top out in the case of a downtrending market. So when you have a pivot point like this or the market makes a swing like this anywhere where it makes a peak or a valley. That's a suitable place to draw a trend line from. And once again, all that's showing you is where the trend traders are really paying attention to the market. So here we have the Aussie dollar. It's been in a period of consolidation. We have a little bit of a short-term trend line here, and we have an intermediate trend line. Now, the closer the market gets to either of these trend lines, the better. I, actually, at this point in time, when the Aussie dollar was doing this, I was looking for a reaction somewhere around here. I thought we were going to get a reaction pretty close to that trend line to coincide with this old area of support that ran something like this. If you can see that dotted line through there. Actually, why don't I just make it a little bit darker for you. Somewhere like this. We had support occur here. We had some more support here. We had obvious support here. And so I was looking for some sort of reaction to come right around that region right there. And what happened is the Aussie dollar, it made a stab lower and then all of a sudden it went higher. So this was actually our buy signal now. This is our red green bar combination and this was our cue to get long on the market. Now I let it pass because I thought we were a little bit too close to the old contract highs and I was actually looking for a failure but it turns out that the Aussie dollar had different ideas and at least for a few days rallied a little bit higher and in hindsight I wish I'd taken advantage of it because that would have been good to the tune of well nearly a thousand dollars even if we had traded it conservatively. So trend lines can be very helpful for helping you determine where and when you want to get into a market. They're very helpful tools for timing trades. I don't try to get into a trade if we are too far removed from a trend line. And the reason being 
it's less predictable. And you will see that happen time and again. So for instance, again with this particular chart, if we had backed it up a few more days, we had another buy signal occur back here. Right? This is, if I erase this, and erase this because it didn't happen just yet, we would, okay, here we go. We see the Aussie dollar is in decline mode. We would be looking for some sort of reaction near the trend line. Now this one is reasonably close. It's never going to play out exact, but this is just to show you an example how the market did not actually test the trend line. Usually it's a little bit more re removed than this. Usually the market's a little bit higher like it is here. But the point is, the market didn't take. The bulls made a push higher. It didn't take. In fact, it probably went just high enough to bring you into the trade, trapping you before it headed back down and established a new intermediate style trend line. And that's one now that we can keep an eye on. All right, so... You can see how this first signal, because it didn't actually bounce off the trend line, didn't really give us much of an entry point. Yet the second one, where it established a new trend line, or you can even, like I had it initially, you can draw this back to here. Either one is valid. We're not splitting hairs here. How this signal, the second bounce, the one that came closer to the new trend line, is actually the one that followed through. So play with it a little bit. Throw a trend line on your chart. If nothing else, it will help keep you on the right side of the trade by paying attention to which side of the market, which side of the trend line the market is actually trading on. And that's this week's Tricks of the Trade. <laughs>